Hey, welcome to 1159 Videos. Today we have another 1997 Honda CRV with a D4 flashing, which is the P1758, which is the lockup solenoid um, fault B code. So we're going to go ahead and pull it out. We're going to change it. We're going to see if we can clear the codes and see if it's the computer um, after uh, clears the code after we change out the lockup solenoid. So, and I'm gonna show you where this one is. This one's up on the top. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it off, replace it, put the new one on it, and then we're gonna go try to clear the codes. Sometimes you gotta um, clear them with the uh, scanner, and then sometimes you gotta do a hard clear. And if it doesn't clear with that, then you have to actually replace the PCM. So, let's go and see what we can do. Yep, another uh, Honda, like I said, with the flashing D4. So I've already scanned it. It came up with the P1758, which is the lockup solenoid. Uh, B with uh, with the uh, B fault. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it off. We're gonna replace it, and we're gonna see if that fixes the problem. Now there's your uh, lockup solenoid right there. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. It's three 10 millimeter bolts. You got one hidden back here, and you have two 10 millimeter bolts up here. So it's three 10 millimeter all together. Make sure you clean up around the edge of it. I take some brake cleaner and just clean it pretty good, so we don't get any trash in the transmission. So. And after that, it just kind of pops out of place. It's just held in here with a little O-ring. So, let me get this out of there. We're going to inspect it and see what it looks like. Now, your lockup solenoid should look just like this. Nice and clean where the screens are. When you pull it, this is the new one I'm putting in, or new used one I'm putting in. So, just make sure it's nice and clean like this. This came off a good working transmission. This was one of my spares. So, we're going to go ahead and put it on there. I pulled off the other one. Yeah, it's just pretty dirty in there and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy on there and try to clear the code. Okay, we're going to do a test on the uh, little sh uh, lockup solenoid. Now the way this works is you can pretty much ground it to the one side. And each one of these clips right here goes to the solenoid. So what you're going to do is you take your, uh, um, your little jumper wire. And of course you're going to have it hooked up into your battery. And then you just plug it in right here and you should hear... Ah! Oh wait, I'm sorry. You should hear a clicking noise, not that. That's right. So, as you hear, that one's clicking on that side, and that's the one clicking on that side. That's what you want to hear. That means it's pretty much working and doing what's supposed to. Let me let me hear. Let me show you, show you again. Okay, when you hear that, those are working. The other thing you want to do is you can do an ohm test on these, and they should ohm out from 12 ohms to 25 ohms. Um, do one on each one of the leads inside there, and that goes to each one of the solenoids. And that way, you can check and make sure your solenoid's okay. 12 to 25 ohms each side within that area. If it's out of that range, then it's bad. So um, this is how you start troubleshooting your D4, flashing D4s on your Hondas. Anyways, we've already put another uh, a good solenoid in there. So we're still having a little bit of issue, which a lot of times goes right back to the actual computer, unfortunately. Back with the uh, uh, lockup solenoid. One of the things you always want to do is once over everything. So I pulled off the air cleaner, as you see. Found a thermostat sitting down near a gasket. <laughs> they got a couple extra bolts just laying there, you know. So as I started inspecting everything, what do you see is missing right here? Well, we have a little bit of green on the left side, and <gasps> there's nothing on the right side. That's because the actual pin has come undone from the back side. So I have to clean this up. And that is the problem why the shift solen or the lockup solenoid is clicking the D4 error. So I just found the problem. This is going to be a fix right here, and we're going to be done. So let me get this done, and I bet you that clears up that flashing D4 and that P1758 in a heartbeat. Okay, went ahead and repinned the wire right there, fixed up the corrosion on there, and I used some of my favorite spray. Yeah, you can't see it because it's been around forever, but it's called Corrosion X. That stuff is amazing. It works unreal miracles about keeping corrosion off your electrical connectors. Stuff's not readily available. You need to find it at a marine store type thing, but that stuff's great. Anyways, after I repinned it and cleaned everything up, as you see, the uh, lockup solenoid is already reconnected, and guess what? Turn the key on and see what we got. All right, D4 has come on and it has gone off. So what that does, just like your check engine light, when they come on, that's supposed to come, your D4 should come on for about one to three seconds. 
it runs all its checks and if it goes off then it's doing what it's supposed to do let's start it up let's see what we got and as you see all right nice and gear there Reverse, park no flashing d4 lock up solenoid fixed on your honda how-to by 1159 videos right